The President of the United States of America, <clears throat> authorized by Act of Congress, March 3, 1863, has awarded in the name of Congress the Medal of Honor to Staff Sergeant Clinton L. Romache, United States Army. For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty. Staff Sergeant Clinton L. Romache distinguished himself by acts of gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty while serving as a section leader with Bravo Troop, 3rd Squadron, 61st Cavalry Regiment, 4th Brigade Combat Team, 4th Infantry Division during combat operations against an armed enemy at Combat Outpost Keating, Kamdesh District, Nuristan Province, Afghanistan, on October 3rd, 2009. On that morning, Staff Sergeant Romache and his comrades awakened to an attack by an estimated 300 enemy fighters occupying the high ground on all four sides of the complex, employing concentrated fire from recoilless rifles, rocket-propelled grenades, anti-aircraft machine guns, mortars, and small arms fire. Staff Sergeant Romache moved uncovered under intense enemy fire to conduct a reconnaissance of the battlefield and seek reinforcements from the barracks before returning to action with the support of an assistant gunner. Staff Sergeant Romache took out an enemy machine gun team and, while engaging a second, the generator he was using for cover was struck by a rocket-propelled grenade, inflicting him with shrapnel wounds. Undeterred by his injuries, Staff Sergeant Romache continued to fight and upon the arrival of another soldier to aid him and the assistant gunner, he again rushed through the exposed avenue to assemble additional soldiers. Staff Sergeant Romache then mobilized a five-man team and returned to the fight equipped with a sniper rifle. With complete disregard for his own safety, Staff Sergeant Romache continually exposed himself to heavy enemy fire as he moved confidently about the battlefield, engaging and destroying multiple enemy targets, including three Taliban fighters who had breached the combat outpost's perimeter. While orchestrating a successful plan to secure and reinforce key points of the battlefield, Staff Sergeant Romache maintained radio communication with the Tactical Operations Center. As the enemy forces attacked with even greater ferocity, unleashing a barrage of rocket-propelled grenades and recoilless rifle rounds, Staff Sergeant Romache identified the point of attack and directed air support to destroy over 30 enemy fighters. After receiving reports that seriously injured soldiers were at a distant battle position, Staff Sergeant Romache and his team provided covering fire to allow the injured soldiers to safely reach the aid station. Upon receipt of orders to proceed to the next objective, his team pushed forward 100 meters under overwhelming enemy fire to recover and prevent the enemy fighters from taking the bodies of their fallen comrades. Staff Sergeant Romache's heroic actions throughout the day-long battle were critical in suppressing an enemy that had far greater numbers. His extraordinary efforts gave Bravo Troop the opportunity to regroup, reorganize, and prepare for the counterattack that allowed the troop to account for its personnel and secure combat outpost Keating. Staff Sergeant Romache's discipline and extraordinary heroism above and beyond the call of duty reflect great credit upon himself, Bravo Troop, 3rd Squadron, 61st Cavalry Regiment, 4th Brigade Combat Team, 4th Infantry Division, and the United States Army. Let us pray. Today, Almighty God, we have gathered to give recognition to the spirit that made our country great, a willingness to give totally of ourselves, even into death, for the great blessings of being a part of this country, for the honor and example of Staff Sergeant Romache brings to our lives, we give you thanks. He was lent to our army for a few short years. 
We were deeply blessed by his presence. As his ancestors inspired his service, he inspired generations to greater service and devotion. In your strength, that we protect others. In your providence, that we be kept safe, that we turn our hearts toward you each and every day. We ask this and pray in your holy name. Amen.